Let's learn how to express one number as a percentage of another. To learn the method, we'll work through the three examples that we see here. For the first two examples, we'll be learning how to do this without a calculator. On the other hand, for the third example, we'll be using our calculator. So let's go ahead. The first thing we're asked to do is to express 4 as a percentage of 5. And to do that, we divide 4 by 5, which we can write as a fraction as 4 over 5. Now remembering that we can think of a percentage as a fraction over 100, our job now consists of rewriting this fraction as an equivalent fraction over 100. And for that, we need to ask ourselves what do we have to multiply 5 by to get 100? And it doesn't take us too long to see that if we multiply 5 by 20, we get 100. But since we multiplied the bottom of the fraction by 20, we need to multiply the top by 20 as well. So that would be 4 times 20, which is equal to 80. So 4 over 5 is equivalent to 80 over 100. And 80 over 100, well, that's 80%. So we can state our answer as 80%. And that's the answer. Let's look at this second example. We're asked to express 13 as a percentage of 25. Well, again, we start by dividing 13 by 25. And we write that as 13 over 25. Our job then consists of writing this as an equivalent fraction over 100. We then ask ourselves what do we have to multiply 25 by to get 100. And it doesn't take us too long to see that we'd have to multiply 25 by 4. We therefore do the same on the numerator, so we multiply 13 by 4 as well, and 13 times 4 is equal to 52. So 13 over 25 is equivalent to 52 over 100. And 52 over 100, well, that's equal to 52%. And that's the answer. Now consider example 3. We're asked to express 15 as a percentage of 24. Well, our starting point is still the same. We start by dividing 15 by 24, so I write 15 over 24. But now to write this fraction as an equivalent fraction over 100, it's a little bit trickier. Indeed, looking back at the first two examples, both the denominator 5 as well as the denominator 25 were factors of 100, which made it quite easy to write those fractions as equivalent fractions over 100. In this case, though, 24 is not a factor of 100. And when that happens, we use our calculator, and we calculate 15 divided by 24. And in doing so, we find that that equals to 0 0.625. And if you're comfortable converting decimals into percentages, you can probably already tell that this is 62.5%. But if you're not comfortable in doing that, here's a quick trick. We can think of this 0 0.625 as 0 0.625 over 1. Now that that's done, we're going to rewrite this fraction as an equivalent fraction over 100. In other words, we rewrite this as something over 100. Now to get from 1 to 100, well, we multiply by 100. So we do the same at the top of the fraction. That is, we multiply the numerator by 100 as well. And if we multiply 0 0.625 by 100, well, that's equal to 62.5. So 15 over 24 is equivalent to 62.5 over 100. And that tells us that this is equal to 62.5%. And that's the answer. And there we have it. That's how we can express a number as a percentage of another. And that's it for this tutorial.